What years. happened when the developer built a house in the tunnel? We, we, we didn't preserve any of it, in other words. I, I don't know. Yeah. It's a very good question, and I really do need to talk to some other folks. Apparently, Dan McCarran, um, he passed the business on to, I think, his daughter, Jamie, I'm told. And uh, this is pretty authoritative oral history, but I really would like to nail it down if I could. But a lot of times, contractors take pictures. And if they hit something like this, I would hope that they, they had done so. But I think parts of the tunnel, I don't know if it has not been built on or not. But it's possible, actually, they have archaeological devices now to, like, you know, that you see on the beach, but it's to tell the density of soil if it has ever been disturbed. And you can do this without disturbing the soil. Uh, uh, what we're talking about, does this tie into any historical knowledge that you may have learned in Elizabeth about the African-American community in, in, in our yes, history chrono yes. chronology? The, the co-president emeritus of the Historical Society is Nida Thomas, uh, who's um, lived in Elizabeth a long time, was a civil rights activist. Uh, uh, she held the first position in so many organizations <laughs> uh, and working with uh, uh, the governor of the state. <clears throat> she always said to me, the history of the African American community is much longer than anyone suspects. And um, so as I'm doing this, I, I really have tried to find out uh, a good deal about this. This is an incredible find, actually for the African-American community. But there, there are actually other finds uh, in doing oral histories. When um, I did an oral history with uh, the late Steve Sampson, who had a wealth of knowledge in his head. And so I said to him, you know, when did civil rights begin in Elizabeth? And he said, well, I came here about 1940. Came up um, and um, he said, I settled here, was going to visit a distant relative, and one thing led to another, and I met uh, Mr. Nesbitt of the Nesbitt Funeral Home. And it's out of the Nesbitt Funeral Home that the NAACP originally operated in this city in the early 1940s. And one of the early protests was for employment in front of what was then Daffy Dan's. Uh, this is really very early for this kind. I mean, it happened early elsewhere, but this is really pretty extraordinary. And uh, the Nesbitts have been a presence here for a long time. The funeral home is still in place. Uh, <clears throat> but I think they've played a much larger role in the history of this city than, than we've let on. And there are other examples, too. Be great to know it. We're going to do our best. Uh, Dr. Manley, before we close, are there any plans for any future Elizabeth forums that you may be able to share with us? Yes. Um, we have... Uh, just been awarded a um, uh, another CDBG grant, smaller than the last, uh, for uh, investigation of North Elizabeth. And what we're going to do is to look at um, the way in which the boundaries of the city constricted and see if we can figure out the politics and economics of that. But originally, the Elizabeth included Evergreen Cemetery. Correct. Yeah. And, and it included Liberty, Hall. West Li Liberty Hall. Yeah, I mean, it, it, but it has constricted. And the, the dynamics of that have got to be very interesting. But there are a number of people, a number of Elizabethans, who uh, are buried in Evergreen Cemetery who are uh, very much worthy of note. The and author Crane well, is well, there. Stephen Crane is there. Stephen Crane is there. Uh, and there are others. There are others. Um, before we go, is if someone's interested in contacting you or the Historical Society of Elizabeth, what number can they use or what sure. website? Uh, well, the, the website, there's a link to the city website Correct. through your good offices. and uh, But you can reach us by uh, doing www.visithistoricalelizabethnj.org uh, or you can call... Uh, 353-1511. 353-1511. Yes. Dr. Manley, I want to thank you for taking the time to join us on My the pleasure. show. Look Entirely. forward to the presentation That's on June great. 13th. Okay. And I appreciate all that you're doing to help good. codify the history of the city of Elizabeth. Very good. Thanks very much. For Dr. Paul Mattingly, I'm Chris <clears throat> Bolwage. We'll see you next week on another edition of Our City.